Hi friends, today we are going through multiple tips on how to best use the terminal and command lines in macOS with best use practices for power users. First thing you should do when working with the terminal on the Mac is installing iTerm2. This is a replacement for the terminal with lots of functionality which helps speed up your work. I would suggest to learn the short keys, which will help you work more efficient. Here's a cheat sheet which I'll add in the description. You can find the list of short keys under settings menu and can customize them. You can split the window vertically or horizontally, either with the mouse or keyboard. With the keyboard you can use command D or command shift D. Navigate among panes with command option and the arrow keys. Temporarily toggle to maximize the current pane with command shift enter, which will hide all other windows. Exit out of a pane by typing exit in that pane or using command W. These are just a few handy features of iTerm2. There is an extended documentation which you can go through. I would recommend to install All My Z Shell to get access to powerful plugins and themes. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, leave a comment. A few basic short keys to memorize which will help you edit your command lines more easily. Control L to clear your screen. Control A will jump to the beginning of the line. Control E to go to the end of the line. Control D to delete right of the cursor. Control K to kill the line from under the cursor to the end of the line. And Control U to clear the entire line. Basic commands to navigate through files and folders ls to list the content of a directory. You can combine this with various options, which you can find by referring to the manual with man ls. cd followed by a folder name to change directory. Use tab to autocomplete or show the possible options. cd followed by two periods to change directory one level up. cd followed by tilde to go to your home directory, pwd to print working directory which shows which directory you are currently on, history to see your previous ran commands. If you pipe history with tail command you can view the last used commands. You can also pipe with grep to see to search your history for a string. Clear will clear your screen similar to control L. MKDIR followed by uh, with a name to create or make a directory. Touch followed by a name to create an empty file with, with that name. RM dash capital R followed by directory name to remove it with the content. With that the capital R option, only empty directories will be removed. Arrow keys up or down to select previous commands from your history. Semicolon helps to combine multiple commands in one line. Two exclamation marks are called bang bang and it's used to run the previous command, similar to one arrow up. You can combine bang bang with sudo, in case you get an error due to permissions. The open command followed by a file folder or an app name will open it using its default application. Drag files and folders into terminal for path. Dido duplicates a folder with its content. Now let's create two simple files with some text. Using the command cat we can see the content of the files. You can also combine the two files into one file. 
If you're serious about using the terminal, then you'll need a good package manager. And Homebrew is the one I would recommend. Homebrew is a package manager like apt-get in Linux, which helps installing packages easily with its dependencies. Just go to their site and copy-paste the following command into your terminal. Don't forget to upgrade your installed packages periodically. One handy package is NeoFetch. Installed using brew, NeoFetch shows system information inside the command line. Using brew, also install tree package. It's a handy tool to show the content of your directories, including the files and folders in a tree structure. Alternatively, you can use the following command. Thank you for watching. If there were parts in this video that you wish extra, extra information on, let me know and I'll try to cover it in a future video. See you in the next video.